Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Prince Productions here, and today we're here with a Q&A video. So, I got a lot of questions on here, so I thank you guys for that. I just want to say thank, before we begin with the video, I just want to thank you guys for 500 subs. It's a really big milestone, it really means a lot. I'm glad, I'm glad that a lot of people love my stuff and love what I make and stuff. And it's gonna get better from here, trust me. Like, stop motion is gonna get way better from here. So yeah, um, so I just wanna thank you guys. Um, this is the part where I would like shout out people, but to be honest, there's a lot of people that I wanna shout out. And if I shout out all those people, then we'd be here for hours. <laughs> like we'd be, this would be a long video, just me shouting out people. So I'm just gonna shout out all y'all. All y'all get a shout out, everyone. The ones I'm voice acting for, the ones I talked on YouTube, the one, uh, my family, like, all y'all get a shout out. Because, you know, yeah, all y'all get a shout out for, and I thank y'all for supporting me on this. And hopefully, we can continue on this road, because I don't really, I don't plan to stop um, doing stop motion anytime soon. I don't really plan to stop doing it. I plan to continue, I plan to continue a lot. So, yeah, I thank you guys for that, and hopefully... We can continue this and stay tuned for part nine too. I'll let y'all know. I'll give y'all a short update for part nine when we're done. So yeah, let's get on with the Q and A. So Jaws the Shark review. Oh, sh sorry, sorry. Jaws the Shark reviews asks, "What is your favorite show to watch?" My favorite show. There's a lot of. I have a lot of favorite shows, and when I say a lot, I mean like a lot, bro. Like, there's been so many shows I've seen that I just love watching. One of them, Transformers Prime is definitely one of them. Like, for real, Transformers Prime. My favorite shows. Uh, I remember a lot of shows. I'm just going to say some random ones. I'm going to say, like, some random ones. I can't say every single one, because like I said, this will be a long video. But Transformers Prime. I We watched the original Ben 10. We watched that, because I used to watch it as a kid a lot. Um... Regular show, Adventure Time, and this new show called, um, this new show on Disney Plus, I forgot his name, I forgot the name, I think it's called The Owl House, yeah, I think, I think it's that, we're watching that show too on Disney Plus, it's pretty good, um, but yeah, there's a lot of shows I love watching, so, yeah, Trustworthy Prime is definitely one of them as well, and, you know, so yeah, Ratchet Studios 88 as says, congratulations, thank you. Uh, my question is, what is your favorite episode of Reunited? My favorite re episode that I made of Reunited... I'll be honest, my favorite episode is honestly part four, when they go to the junkyard, because... I don't know, I just it's something about that video. It's just, I love the idea of them going to the junkyard and them all fighting Scavenger. Because I was just thinking about it, and I was like... Because I, I, I think I rewatched a scene. It was either a stop motion or a scene. It was either a stop motion of it, or it was like a scene, or like a scene. I rewatched the scene of it, and I was like, "I'm what if?" I was like, "What if this is the next episode that I do?" Because I was trying to brainstorm some episodes, and I was like, "This should be the next episode where they go with this junkyard and fight Scavenger." So, yeah, there was some cut out scenes in part four. Like there weren't, it wasn't technically scenes. It was kind of like extended versions of scenes i just cut short but you know and another favorite thing another favorite ep episode that i love is part six because i love filming that optimus prime versus megatron battle that was just so fun to film and yeah i just loved how it turned out too because it turned out really good bro it turned out really good so yeah i'd say um part four and part six are my favorite episodes of reunited that i've made so far so yeah, Alien, uh, Trashy Alien Stop Motion asks, congratulations, thank you. Q&A, do you play video games? And if you do, which ones is your favorite? I do play video games. Um, and my favorite video games? My favorite video games is probably Fall of Cybertron, Devastation, and um, what's the other one? Skylanders. I used to play Skylanders a lot, but that game kind of stopped working, so it's kind of un unfortunate, but it was a fun game, though. And Devastation and Fall of Cybertron are really fun as well. I love playing those games. I 
it's it's fun games, bro. Like they're really fun to play. Bumblebee Nation says, "Congrats, thank you." Um, my question is, what Autobot and Decepticon is your least favorite? That's a hard one, low key, because I honestly don't really have a least favorite Autobot or Decepticon, to be honest. Because I like, there's like a lot of Autobots and Decepticons I like. Um, I guess for my least favorite Autobot, I would have to say, least favorite Autobot, I'd probably say, probably Squeaks. I'm just going to say Squeaks. That's the first thing that's coming to my head. Oh, and G1 Wheelie. G1 Wheelie. Bruh, G1 really was annoying, bro. I can't stand his voice. It's like it's like a teacher scratching her nails on a chalkboard and a kid screaming and it's mixed together. That's how G1 really's voice is. Like when I heard that voice, I was just like, bruh, it maybe it makes me cringe. And squeaks, eh. And yeah, squeaks is eh. Meh. I don't really care that much for squeaks, but eh. <laughs> And as for least favorite Decepticon, that's hard as well, because I don't think I have a least favorite Decepticon. Oh, no. Um, I, I guess Mohawk. Yeah, I guess Mohawk. I wasn't, really that, I wasn't really that much of a huge fan of Mohawk. I mean, I like his personality, but I don't know. It's just when I saw Mohawk, when I saw Mohawk and I saw Onslaught, Dreadbot, Berserker, Nitro, all, that, all those Decepticons, to me, Mohawk just felt like a character where it's like, you could like shoot him one time and then he's dead. That's what I thought as a kid. And that's what actually happened in the movie. Because Bumblebee just shot that, just shot him one one time and then he died. Like, that was it for Mohawk. So, yeah, Mohawk. I just didn't really, I just don't, I'm not a huge fan of Mohawk. I just don't think he was, I just didn't think he was like a, I didn't think he was going to be like a major character in the film. Even as a little kid, I never thought that, so. Yeah, I bet, I guess Squeaks, Mohawk, and Jiwen really, I'd say. Beyond the Max says, congrats, man. Thank you. I have a question. What are your top three favorite Transformers incarnations? My top three, Bay, well, Bayverse, because Bayverse is what got me into Transformers in the first place. So that will always be a part of me. That will always be a part of my heart. Um... Transformers Prime as well, because Transformers Prime is really dope. I love that show. And I'm trying... What is number three? Number three? Number three will probably be either G1 or Animated. It's one of the two. Either G1 or Animated. I think... I don't know. It's kind of hard. Because G1 can't... Just, G1 is the OG. But Animated is like has a better animation. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to choose. Um, but number one is definitely Bavers, and number two is um, Transformers Prime. And number three, number three is either G1 or Animated, or just both together, I'd say. So, yeah. The Alone Bacon asks, Q&A, do you have a girlfriend? No. And what is your favorite food you like? And congrats. Thanks. My favorite food? I'd say my favorite food is honestly pizza. Yeah, low-key. I think it's pizza. Yeah, that's my favorite food. Jackie Barry Barry. Oh my gosh. Jackie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I I'm sorry if I mess up this uh last name cuz Jack uh, Jackie Bianca? Is it Bianca? Ah, I'm sorry if I mess up the name. I'm sorry. Um I'm just going to say Jackie. So Jackie says, "Which is your favorite Transformer?" My favorite Transformer is honestly Bumblebee, cause hold on, hold on. Um, let me give y'all a reason why I love Bumblebee. So I know Bumblebee, like he, a lot of people love him. Yeah, he he's has a fan base and stuff. Yeah, so yeah, I say Bumblebee cause like Bumblebee, I just I love that, you know, Bumblebee's not afraid to fight. Like I like the thing is like, cause like Bumblebee, he's not afraid to throw hands when he needs to. Bumblebee was never that character in the Bayverse where he's like, he would run away from a Decepticon or something like that. Nah, like, Bumblebee in the Bay, like, whether you, whether you guys like him or not, you have to admit, he is not afraid to throw hands, bro. Like, he is kind and nice when he needs to, but when he's in that battlefield, bruh, that man is a monster, bro. He's a, 
And every single time he puts down his battle mask, as a little kid, every single time he put down his battle mask, I knew it was over for them. Even as a little kid, yeah, as a little kid, when I saw him like put down his like his face mask down, I knew, oh man, it, it's over for them. It's over, <laughs> cause every single time he takes out his face mask, the Decepticon dies. And every time, and every single time I see him do that, like every time, like when I see him put down his face mask, I just know that the Decepticon's gonna die, and that the Decepticon's not gonna survive. And I'm just like, look at what you got yourself into. <laughs> Yeah, man, I just love that Bumblebee's, like, a kind character when he needs to. Like, he's kind and nice to his friends and other species. But when he comes to, like, the Decepticons, oh, he is not afraid. He is not afraid to fight. And I also love that he's funny, too, in other continuities, too, because he's also a funny character. I want to try to thrive, strive for that, too, in my series. Try to make him, like, a funny, a nice, kind, and funny character, but also serious and strong when he needs to be and stuff. So yeah, I'd say Bumblebee, and that's my reasoning. So, uh, Glue Five Hundred asks, "Will you start a Twitter account to grow your channel?" Uh, no, no, I don't really know that much about Twitter. I mean, I do know about Twitter. I know what you can do. You can like stream on there, but I don't know. I don't. I don't need a Twitter. To be honest, I don't really. I don't use Twitter. I don't. I forget about Twitter. To be honest with you guys, like I forget about Twitter, bro. That's how much I don't really, that's how much I don't really know about it. Because I forget, I mean, I know about, I know about it. I just forget about it. And plus, like, I don't really think I'm going to, even if I do make a Twitter account, I don't think I'm going to use it much. So, yeah, I'd probably say, nah. nah I, Daniel, as congrats, you did it. Just imagine when you get to 1,000 1, subs. Oh, oh, yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, make sure, like, if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. And if you guys know that other people that like stop motions, you can send them on to my channel. If they like it, they can subscribe. But yeah, for real, just imagine if I get to a thousand, bro. Um, and question, who is your favorite Autobot minus Sideswipe? Um, again, my favorite Autobot is Bumblebee. Huh, I'm going to give y'all a top three for this one. I'm going to give y'all a top three. So my top three favorite Autobots are number one is Bumblebee, number two is Optimus Prime, and number three is Ironhide. Those are my top three favorite um, Autobots. Uh, Ratchet, no, not Ratchet. Uh, Sideswipe Studios asks, what is your favorite TF series on YouTube or on an app? That's a hard question, because low-key, there is so many stop, there is so many stop motion series I've seen and I just love them all. Like, there's so many I've seen that I love a, I love a lot. Ugh, that's hard, bro. I guess I'd say... I guess recently it's probably either Warfare or Destruction from Panda Jack. It's one of those two. It's either Warfare from Extron, SM, or Destruction from Panda Jack. And also homebound and warbound and stuff. I there's like a lot of sound motions, dude. Like there's a lot of sound motions I've seen on YouTube. That I love watching. It's, it's hard to choose one. You know, it's hard to choose one. Venomotron Studios asks, "Do you need actors, and will there be a season two? As for a season two, yes, there will be a season two of Reunited. I def I plan to do like three seasons of Reunited. So, yes, yeah, so the second season is confirmed." And do you need vo actors? Not at the moment, because right now, I can just do all the uh, characters' voices myself, low-key. Um, um, I will look for voice actors soon. Like, when season two comes out, I'll look for voice actors. Um, I, I, am, I think I am looking for some, a few voice actors on it, uh, voice actors right now. Um, but, but yeah, I will, I will ask for voice actors for season two. So don't worry. You, you guys can get a chance. You'll get a chance to voice act. I'll give you guys that chance. It's just for season one, I just want to do the characters myself for season one. So, but for season two, I will look for some voice actors. So, yeah. Shark, Shark gets Prime as says, Congratulations. Thank you. What is your favorite Transformers movie? My favorite Transformers movie is Dark of the Moon. I just love Dark of the Moon, bro. Like, 
Dark and the Moon is just so awesome, bro. Like, I just love the Dark and the Moon movie. I love the plot. I love the action. Yeah, I love the characters. I love everything about it. It's like, it's so awesome. It's an awesome movie. Um, R.I.P. Ironhide, too. Because Ironhide, you know, in that movie. R.I.P. R.I.P. Ironhide. Um, Primal King Productions adds, How do you think the Mexican standoff would play out if the dreads spit at shot acid? I think it'd just play out the same way. <laughs> like, I think, like, if they shot acid, instead of, like, instead of them making those, those little spiky things on their backs and throwing it at them, I think, like, they would just, like, the dread would, like, shoot acid at Ironhide. Some acid would get on Ironhide and damage him a little bit. And then the other one tried to shoot acid to Sideswipe, but Sideswipe would dodge it in time. And then it would just play out the same way. That's what I think it would play out. I don't think it, I don't really think it would be that much different, to be honest. So, yeah, that's what I think it would play out. Sorry, my, my eyes bothering me today. I don't know why. Um, Prime versus Megatron at... As can I do a Q&A, the Q&A with you? Well, I'm trying to doing it right now, so probably not. I mean, but thanks for asking, though. Thanks for asking. Um, but it's okay. I can just do it. From, I can just do it myself. You know, I can just like do it myself. It's not, you don't really have to do it with me. Like it, but thanks for asking, though. Thanks for asking. But I can just do it myself, though. And this next question was asked on a different video. Um, it was asked on a different video and stuff. Um, just let me go to that video real quick. All right, here it is. So TF, the last prime adds, um, what age are you? I'm 13. Um, that's what he said. Um, like, he said it, he was 13. That's what I'm saying. Um, currently, I am 15 years old. I am currently 15 years old right now. And I'm about to turn 16 this year. So, yeah. Yeah, so I'm 15. That's all I'm going to say. All right. So, we got some more questions on Instagram. So, let me just pull up Instagram real quick. Let me just pull up Instagram real quick because you got some questions about Instagram. All right, here we are. So Glue 101, which is Glue 500, asks, when are you going to collab with someone and how do you grow your channel so fast? As collabs, technically I do, I'm already collabing with people because I'm, I'm voice acting in other style motions. I'm voicing Tiger Track and Blakatron style motion. I'm voicing flywheels in in um Crooked Windows and Crooked Windows is stop motion. I'm voicing Yeah, I'm like I'm voicing a lot of characters and a lot of stop motions, so technically I'm already doing collabs. Um and how do you grow your channel so fast? Just be consistent. Those guys, you gotta just be consistent and stuff. Um and yeah, people if you be consistent, people can just watch your stuff like that. Um, B one twenty seven CJ asks, "What figures are you most excited for?" The figures I'm most excited for the ones that've been revealed. I'm excited for that Kingdom Galvatron and the Ark because those two look really lit. Um, they look so awesome, and that Mega Galvatron comes with the Matrix chain. I did not think it was gonna come with the Matrix thing chain. That was a huge surprise. And the Ark, bro, the Ark just looks so dope, bro. I just really want that. I have so many. I just thought of so many ideas when I saw that Ark. I just thought of so many ideas with that arc. And as for the figures that are not revealed yet, I'm excited for the Joel and Sidespy from Studio Series that are not revealed yet. Well, from the listings. Well, I'm, I'm excited for like a lot of figures in Studio Series, like Fallen and stuff, but I would say for those two right now. Because like, I already have like two Joel figures. I have the original ROTF one and the Dark and the Moon one. But I honestly want to see what the Studio Series one can do because I want to see how they can improve on the Joel figure. Yeah. And I'm also excited for the side swipe because I unfortunately I missed out on the Studio Series Dark Moon side swipe. Cause it just didn't come in my area. I was looking for it, but it didn't come in my area. So that was that was 
that was disappointing. Yeah. Underlying mistress as what's your best tips on going out your channel and how do you not lose motivation to continue on a project? Like I said, growing out your channel should be consistent and stuff. You know, you'll get there eventually, you just gotta be consistent, um, promoting and stuff. That that's what you gotta do. And as for lose don't do not lose motivation. You just gotta like you just have to want to do the project. Like like you just have to want to do it to not lose motivation. Because for me, like I want to do the I wanna do I want to continue the reunite series. Like I wanna continue it, I wanna continue with the story. Cause like when I wanted when I was thinking about making a YouTube channel, I wanted to make sure that if I did a series it was gonna be a series I was gonna do from beginning to end, and not just a series I was gonna do like a little bit and then cut it off right there because I lost motivation. I did not want to do that. And reunited, like I, you just gotta want to do it. Like for reunited, I want to continue it. There's so many ideas I have. I want to continue doing the stop motions. I want to continue growing out my story. I want to continue showing out the characters. And yeah, you just gotta want to do it. You just gotta want to do it. Um, so from Jackie again, which is your favorite Transformer? Bumblebee. Um, Lord Lounge Productions asks, will we be seeing OC, OC and custom characters like your Ultra Magnus? Um, yes, you will see more OC and custom characters. And for those people, for people you guys don't know, I put, I made like a custom Ultra Magnus. I posted on my in Instagram, so you guys haven't followed my Instagram. It's, it's Prince Productions 32. That's my Insta that's my Instagram name. So if you haven't followed it, and if you have Instagram, you can you can follow it if you want. But yes, you will see OC characters and custom characters in the series. And what inspired you to do to collect and to do stop motion series? Um, basically, the movies kind of inspired me because when I saw the movies, I kind of there was like certain characters I wanted to get figures of, and I just got those figures. So. And they do stop motion series. A lot of people inspire, inspire me. Like a lot of stop motion creators. It's hard to choose one. I guess the, the my main my main inspiration is Swag Wave SM because his stop motion just looks. I just watched his Beast Wars video just now before I did this video, and that video was just. I I felt like I was watching a short movie, bro. I felt like I was watching a movie. Simic, the the movie was just so. Just, yeah, man, this is almost just so dope. Um, and what is your most favorite figure? My favorite figure in my collection, Unique Toys Challenger, I think. Yeah, that's my favorite. That's my, that's my favorite figure. That's my favorite Unique Toys Challenger. Um, and what is your favorite custom figure you've made so far the most? Honestly, it's probably my last night Voyager Class Optimus Prime. It's probably my favorite custom. I would bring it out right now, but I don't feel like it. So, <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite custom I've made so far. What is your, um, do you like Marvel? Yes, I love Marvel. Yes, I love Marvel. And do you plan to make a Marvel series? You know, I was thinking about doing like, I wasn't thinking about doing like a full on Marvel series. Because I love Marvel, but I don't really see myself collecting that much Marvel stuff. Cause I'm a, I'm a Transformers collector. Like I collect Transformers and stuff. I might collect Marvel like once in a while, but I'm not like collecting Marvel every single time. Um, but I was thinking about doing like a few uh, Marvel videos, depending on what characters I have. I was thinking about doing like a Miles video. If I depending on if I get that Miles and Pri and Prowler, I might do it. Yeah, but I I don't really focus on the Marvel figures. I focus. I focus my I focus my attention on the Transformers figures because I collect I collect Transformers so yeah but I do collect Marvel once in a while but I'm not like collecting Marvel every single second because uh, you know there's Transformers I want to get there's like there's like Transformer figures I want to collect there's like Transformer figures that I want to get and stuff so yeah but maybe. I'm not saying you'll you'll see like a Marvel series in the future, but you might see like a video or two, depending on what care, what figures I have. Um, Extron 2.0, which is Extron XM, as what do you what do you find interesting about stop motion animation? I just find it that we're all we're all just kids that just have toys 
and we can just make s stories and character development and stuff like that with them. That's what I find interesting that we can just grab some toys and make and turn it into like a film, turn it into like a movie and stuff. That's what I find interesting because I was always when I was a little kid, I always loved watching stop motions. I loved watching stop motions a lot, and I just find it interesting that we can make these toys move and have character development and have like story and stuff like that. And yeah, that's what I find interesting. The third third CW, which is Crooked Window Studios. Um, Crooked Window Studios as what is what is the figure you want the most as of right now? That's hard. That's hard. I guess the Ark, Galvatron, that Mastermind Creations Tarn figure, because that Tarn figure looks pretty dope. dope. And um, probably the MPM Bumblebee Movie Optimus figure. Probably that figure. Even though I keep forgetting that it existed. <laughs> Even though I keep forgetting that that Bumblebee Movie Optimus from the MPM line. Even though I keep forgetting that it comes out. That it came out. But yeah, I also want that one too. If I can get it. So yeah, I'd say those are the figures I kind of want right now the most. What is your favorite stop motion channel? My favorite stop motion channel is Swag Wave SM. Like Swag Wave. I, I love watching his videos. Like I said, I just watched this Beast Wars video before I made this video, and it was just freaking dope, bro. Like, every single time I watch the sound motions, it's just, it's so awesome, bro. It makes me feel like I'm watching a film, bro. And the voice acting is just amazing, too, bro. Like, he has some really good voice actors. Um, what, did, what was your introduction to, to stop motion? My introduction to stop motion? That's a hard one. Because there's, there, I've seen, like, a lot of stop motions as a little kid. I think my introduction was that forest battle one, the one with the leader class Optimus and stuff. I don't know when that came out, but I think that came out years ago and stuff as a little kid. Like that was my introduction. I don't know. Like there's like a lot of things that I've seen. There's like a lot of sound motions I've seen. So yeah, that's kind of hard to answer because I don't really remember the first sound motion that I've seen, but I will just say that I've been watching I will say that I've been watching stop motion ever since, ever since I've seen ROTF. Ever since, ever since I've seen ROTF, I think that was in it. Either, it was, it was either when I seen ROT the Revenge of. It was either when I seen ROTF or Dark of the Moon. It was one of those two when I started watching stop motions. I don't really remember specifically what year, but it was probably around that time, around those times. It's probably when ROTF came out, because I do remember a stop motion that came out and was only using 2007 ROTF figures. So I think it was when ROTF came out. That was my introduction. Um, and whose work do you enjoy the most? Y'all trying to make me choose in this video, like, for real. I can't. Like, I, I don't know, bro. Like, I love watching Crooked Windows stuff, of course. I love watching his. I love watching Extrons. I love watching... I love watching Blakatron stuff as well. I love watching bigger stop motion animators too. It's hard, bro. It low key is hard. I can't really choose a specific one. I guess I'd say Swag Wave, like I said, because Swag Wave, you know, his stop motions are pretty dope. I just, you know, his stop motions are really dope. But yeah, it's really hard to choose, dude. It's really hard. And I think that's all the questions that we got. Yeah, I think that's all the questions. So. Thank you guys for giving, for getting, like I said, thank you guys for getting me to 500 subs. It really means a lot. And stay tuned for more content because part nine is coming soon. Let me y'all, let me give y'all uh, something about part nine. So part nine, filming is almost done. Filming is almost done. I just got to film a few more things for the fight, for the fight scene. And then I got to film... And I gotta film a scene. Yeah, I gotta film a scene when it turns nighttime too. So I gotta film that. And then I just gotta edit it. And then, yeah, I'll be out. So, yeah. That's all. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, part nine's coming soon. I'm trying to get it out this month. I'm trying to get it out this month. Hopefully, it can come out this month. And I'm gonna try to premiere it too. I'm gonna see if I can premiere it. Because I wanna start premiering my episodes like other YouTubers do. 
So I'm gonna see if I can premiere this one as well. I'll try. But yeah, guys, like I said, thank you guys for 500 subs and thank you guys for asking me the questions. Thank you guys for the questions and the likes and stuff. And yeah, I mean, that this is Prince Productions signing off.